Hi, welcome to Keypay's video series on WorkZone for employees. As an employee, you are able to create and submit your timesheets at any time and from anywhere directly from your WorkZone app. You can also access all your previous timesheet activities from this app as well. In this video, we're going to show you how to create, submit, view and delete timesheets in your WorkZone app. Once you've logged into your WorkZone app, you can access the timesheet section in one of two ways. You can tap anywhere here in the timesheet area on the home screen. This is also where you can view a summary of the timesheet details. You can see the number of timesheets and their status, which will appear as either submitted, declined, approved or processed. Or you can also access the timesheet area by tapping on the timesheet icon at the bottom of the home screen. In order to create a timesheet, you can tap on either of these options, which will then take you to the timesheet area of the app. On this page, you have the option to toggle between viewing your timesheets for either weekly or fortnightly. Then you also have the option to change the date range of the timesheets you can view by using the left and right arrows here. You can create a timesheet by either tapping on the plus icon in the top right hand corner or you can just tap on the date that you would like to enter the timesheet for. So if we tap on this first date here, you can see that the date is automatically populated. So then all you need to do is enter in the rest of the details. The details you'll need to enter will depend on the business settings that your employer has in place. We'll go through these options now, but just be aware that some of these options may not appear if your employer doesn't require this information from you. The first option is a work type. Only work types that you've been enabled for will appear in this list. And if required, you'll need to select the relevant work type for this timesheet. The next option is the location. And again, only locations that you're enabled for will appear in this list. And if required, you'll need to select the relevant location for this timesheet. The next two options will only be available based on the business configuration. The shift conditions option will only be available if shift conditions have been set up for you or the location that you're working at. And the classification option will also only be available if you have been enabled to select a higher classification when working higher duties. The next field is the date that was automatically populated when you selected the timesheet line. But if this is incorrect, you can still change it from this point by tapping on the date and selecting a different one. Now you'll need to enter in the time worked for this timesheet. If you have the option to enter hours instead of start stop times, you'll see this option here. You can toggle this on and then enter in the number of hours only that you worked. If you don't have this option and you are required to enter in your start and stop times, you can tap on each of these fields to enter in those times. So we'll do a start time of 9am and an end time of 4pm. And then you'll see the number of hours will automatically populate in that last field on that line. You then have the option to enter a break as well if required. You'll simply need to tap on these fields and enter in the times for the break. So we'll start the break at 12 p.m. and we'll end the break at 12.30 p.m. If this has been entered incorrectly, you can delete the break line by tapping on the red encircled dash at the end. And then you've also got the option to add in further breaks as well if you need to. The next field gives you the option to add in any notes if you need to. Then the last option is for selecting multiple dates for these timesheet details to apply to. So if you've worked the same hours and all other details such as the work type and location are the same, you can elect to apply these details to a number of days. When you tap on this option, 
you can then tap on each of the days that you'd like this timesheet information to apply to. You can see that there's also the option to apply them to just the weekdays, or you can select all of the days. Once you've selected these days, you can then just tap on done. And then you can see that the days that you have selected have populated that last field. Once all the information has been entered for your timesheets, you can simply tap on the save option in the top right hand corner. This will submit all the timesheets and take you back to the timesheet screen where you can now see the status of each timesheet as well. You can also see the details of each timesheet line. So you can see the start stop times, the number of hours and the location and work type that was selected for each timesheet. Once this has been done, you can add further timesheets by tapping on the plus symbol in the top right hand corner or you can tap on the home icon to take you back to the home screen. You can now see in the timesheet area of the home screen the number of timesheets that you've just entered in the submitted field. Once these timesheets have been approved, declined or processed, they will move to the relevant field. If you need to go back and view any of these timesheets, you can simply tap anywhere in the timesheet section and this will open up these timesheets again. This is also how you would make any adjustments to the timesheets or delete them. So to make an adjustment, you'll just need to tap on the required timesheet and then override any of the details you need to change. So we'll change the end time for this timesheet to 5 p.m. Then you can just tap on save and then back on the timesheet screen there, you can see this change. If you need to completely delete a timesheet, you can tap on the required timesheet. And then you'll see the option to delete at the bottom of the screen. So I'll delete this timesheet for the Wednesday. And then once we're back on the timesheet screen, you can see that there is no longer a timesheet for that Wednesday. The last thing we'll take a look at is entering in additional timesheet lines for the same day. For example, you can see here that we already have a timesheet for the Tuesday, but you can add another timesheet for that same day by just tapping on the plus icon and then changing the date to the Tuesday. You'll just then need to enter in the rest of the timesheet details. and then you can tap on save. You can see there back on the timesheet screen that that second timesheet for the Tuesday has now been added in. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video and good luck with creating and submitting your timesheets via your WorkZone app.